Hello, math students. This is Mr. O, Mr. Oliveri, uh, giving you a little tour of the middle school. This is the front entrance area. You guys will not be going into the front entrance area. Uh, eight three students at least. Uh, eight three students, if you're dropped off in this bus area next to the tennis courts, you will have to take a little walk around the school. Uh, Hopefully you don't get car sick as you walk around the school following me with this. You're gonna walk around and go to the entrance in the back. It's the back entrance of the school. Some of you may be dropped off back there, but I just wanted to give you a tour. Uh, the buses will be coming in here, dropping off half of the students that are gonna be coming to school. The other half will get dropped off in the back. But if you are one of eight three, if you are an eight three student, you are going to have to enter the building through the back of the school here. So I just wanted to give you a tour on how to get there from the buses. So when Tuesday comes around next week, Tuesday, Wednesday for you guys, and it's your first time here, uh, or first time here in a year almost, uh, you can have a better idea of what it's gonna look like. Now I'm walking by, I'll say hi to everybody. Hi. hi. So we're walking back by the art and music rooms and gym and all of the, the football field and such. Band's gonna be outdoors this year. Uh, choir chorus is gonna be outdoors as much as possible. You'll probably be outdoors more than what you're usually used to. Okay, here we are at the back parking lot where the other buses will drop off. Um, I'm wearing my mask out here right now just so you guys can get used to it. This is what I really look like. Ooh, what a handsome guy. Um, but. You guys are gonna be wearing your masks all the time, all day long. You'll only be able to take them off when you're eating lunch or when you're outside for gym class for something, if you're outside far enough away from each other. But get used to them. It's gonna be uh, life as we know it for right now. It's weird, I'm old, I've been around for a long time. I'm getting used to it. Back here is the entrance that most all of you will be coming in. Eight, three students right in through here. All right, now if you have me for one of your first periods, the nice thing is I'm just straight down the hallway. No more lockers, not gonna happen. Down here, this is where the band and art rooms are, right down there, Mr. Hallstrom, and all of the band and art rooms down there. Uh, so eight, three students, if you're gonna have me first hour, second hour, this is where you're gonna go. Now, this is something that you've gotta watch out for. They're breaking the law right now. Uh, breakers. Rule breakers. See no. these on the ground? No. Those are in class. These arrows have to be followed. When you are at passing time, you are walking down these hallways following the arrows that are on the ground. No, you can't walk in the opposite direction. You have to follow those arrows. My room, room 508. Here we are. It's going to look different, people. It's gonna look different. Not as many people are gonna be in the classroom as you may be in classes of five or eight or 15, whatever. My room's a mess today. I'm letting you know that right now, it's a mess. But this is what the room is gonna look like. It's gonna be very few children spaced apart. It is not optional that you wear masks and stay six feet apart. It is six feet apart and masks. Masks can't be like that. They can't be down here. They've gotta be up and over can't hang your mouth out got to get used to this it's gonna be hot it's gonna be sweaty my room's always cold so that'll so solve that problem and announcements will always interrupt whatever you're doing interruption betsy young is on the track trying to set up a canopy and she needs some help betsy young yeah this is on the track and wasting help setting up a three canopy. minutes of my Thank you. all right i'll go help <laughs> betsy young put her canopy up but not until I'm done with this video. I'm pacing around the room, but the seats are in here. You're gonna be coming into the classroom. Now, you're not gonna wait in the hallway to come into my room. You're gonna have an assigned seat. I'll tell you where to go. And when you get into your seat, I will be taking your temperature for the day. Now, let's say you've got a low grade fever. If you have over 100.4, over 100.4, I have to wait a little bit, let the office know, take your temperature again, send you up to the office, they'll check you out. You may have to go home for the day. Okay, may, they may have to make a phone call and get you, get you home for the day. Most of you will come in with 97, 98, 99 degrees. That's normal, okay? They, those are all okay. But if you're a borderliner, if you're one of those 100.4 or higher, 
don't be freaked out. It doesn't mean anything. It could just mean you're warm from coming to school. You maybe walked to school that day. But just know that if you have one of those high-grade fevers like that, or low-grade fevers, you'll just have that asked of you. Now, as far as how school will go, if you haven't heard already, bathrooms are going to be locked. Okay, bathrooms are going to be locked up during passing time. So going to the bathroom is going to be planned. You're going to have to go and ask a teacher if things are an issue to use the bathroom, to go to the nurse, not happening. Okay, the only people that get to go up to the nurse's office this year are going to be the people that have diabetic problems that need to go up and get tested and take care of those things. And medications are going to be set aside where you're going to have specific times to do this. What I'm using in my hand right now, cell phones, can't even have them out. Not on, not out at all. Not at lunch, not at your lockers, because you don't have lockers, not in the classroom ever. So going to be a bit of a change from last year, okay? The cell phone deal alone is going to be a, a, a bit of a withdrawal for most of us. Um, but no cell phones at all in the school this year. Not in the hallways, not anywhere. And so get used to it doing things and i'm going to make more videos of this i just wanted to give you an idea of how to go in the hallways the hallways are marked with arrows follow the arrows they're not optional it is mandatory the arrows are there okay classes are going to be long they're going to be uh block scheduling so you're going to be in some classes anywhere between an hour and 20 minutes to two hours in the same classroom all through that time we're going to explain to you how things are going to go within the classroom, but I would say the first thing you should be looking for, get online. Look for my Google Classroom. I sent you an email with my Google Classroom code, so you can get on Google Classroom. This is going to be where the video is going to be. Uh, I may send it an, an attachment through uh, email so you can watch the video and get on Google Classroom, but let's make this a good year. I've missed being in school. I, this is, it has been a weird six months, so... Let's make it the best that we can possibly make it. I'll see you soon. Bye.